Well, it's, it's changed a lot. Uh, it's been, it's been modernised. Where was he when you got here? Uh, he was, he was sat at a, a table here, and he, he was whittling away at a, a piece of wood with a knife. Mm -hmm. When I, uh, when I, when I knocked, he, he didn't answer, so um, I let myself in. And what did he say to you when you told him what you'd found? Well, that was a weird thing because he. He said nothing. He just carried on whistling it away. At a... What did What did you say? Well, I, t I told him everything. I told him where we found it, how big it was, what colour it was. But he didn't. He didn't look at me. You know. He just. He just carried on looking at the piece of wood he was working on. You must have been scared. I was a bit, I was a bit spooked by him. When I finished talking, he, he got up and he went to a cupboard and he, he took out a bag. And then he, he walked towards me, well, towards the door, as if I wasn't there. So I went up to the field to warn the others that he was coming to deal with a bomb and that we should we should make ourselves scarce. Obviously, it was too too dangerous to hang about. It's getting good now. We've got a best-selling book on our hands. Paragraph three next. Can you give me a good description of how you picture the farmer and his house? What was the bag like? The one he picked up? Was he spooky or friendly? The story's getting tense now. Will the bomb blow up? Will the farmer get there in time? Try to get some of that tension into your writing.